Hello and what's up Wednesday? Welcome to Erin Dash. So I'm just doing another video on random stuff for you guys on Wednesday. Um, if you saw my post yesterday, I was talking about relationships. It's a huge theme right now and so I wanted to touch a couple like really important things I think that I, you know, I tend to share in sessions with my clients and you can do a little bit of this work obviously on your own if you're interested. But I think a lot of people, honestly, they're trying to manifest the like the right relationship or the right person to walk into their lives and while that's well and good unless you have done some work on the behind the scenes of what you're actually drawing in to me there's always going to be somewhat of a blockage there not to say that things also don't happen in divine timing because I think they do but if you feel like you're ready to do a little bit of work around the type of relationship you're either drawing in or what you actually want then this video will definitely be for you. So one of the things that I think is really important is, number one, what did you learn about love from your mother and what did you learn about love from your father? Yeah, most people don't wanna hear that. <laughs> um, but, and there's two different aspects to that, right? So like, one is what did you, like watching them, like how did they show love and how did they receive love? So really that's like four different things that you could do on your own, even in journaling and sort of breaking that down. And then you can even see in your own patterns, like how do, how do you show up potentially in those same ways, um, same ways in your own relationships, past or present? Um, because once again, whether you're in a current relationship and that's still your future person, or you're looking for a new relationship and you're trying to draw in the right person, to me, this work needs to be done. All right, second piece to this um, is, and I think I'll probably touch on three pieces actually for this. So second piece to me would be knowing your love languages. If you've ever heard of the book, The Five Love Languages, I think it's really valuable. It's, um, the information is really valuable. And it's a really short book, frankly. There's five different love languages. I'm not gonna break them all down immediately right now for you guys, because I'm trying to always shorten my videos a little bit for you. Um, but there are five love languages, and maybe I'll make another post on it tomorrow. Um, and knowing how you perceive love, and how you, or how you receive it, and how you give love, it, once again, is extremely important. So um, that's another really important thing to know, because potentially, your partner could basically be showing love in their own particular love language to you and you're not even receiving it because it's not your language. It's, it's, it's so fascinating, but unless you are getting love in the way that you truly um, feel loved, your cup will always be empty, which once again, I just think is really important. Third aspect to all of this to me um, is self-worth. <laughs> which is a tough cookie, <laughs> to be honest. Um, knowing your value, feeling worthy of love, and so also when you're actually receiving love in the right way from the right person, that you don't end up pushing them away based on feeling unworthy of that love included, or vice versa, drawing someone in who wants to be loved but doesn't feel, feel worthy, and then therefore, once again, the relationship crumbles and falls apart. So self-worth is something that's huge when it comes to all this stuff and I think that it's a huge aspect that a lot of people really need to focus on and work on. There's so much internal work that happens with the relationships outside of us and it, these aren't only partnerships in this in a love sense. It can be friendships too, your best friends, your family members, but when I'm what I'm kind of particularly talking about today is is definitely more that sort of love relationship or partnership. So once again, three kind of things that I think a lot of people can do some of their own work on, but I'm just seeing a huge theme in my clients and my coaching clients and my friends and myself, all these, you know, different aspects. We're all, um, you know, we're all at the planet at the same time. And I don't think that it's by chance that a lot of us go through many of these things together. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a couple things to kind of maybe journal on and do you know, a little bit of self work on, but obviously if you're ready to break down some of this baggage and patterns and wounding, because to me a lot of it is wounding, that I see it within people, especially when it comes to self worth and what we actually believe we're worthy of from a partner. If you wanna do that work, I'm here for you. I do sessions 
Tuesday through Friday over Zoom, and I'm available for when, whenever you guys want. Send me a direct message, or you can book through my link. All right, well, thanks for joining me for Aaron Dash this week, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.